This is a really simple device. It's biomimicry. Basically what we have here is an artificial stomach and we inoculate that stomach with the same microbes that we have in our own guts. And those microbes, whether they're found in humans, in your baby's diaper waste, in a cow, in a pig, in a sheep, or even pond muck or lake mud where ducks have sat and done their business, those microbes are everywhere in nature and we introduce them into the stomach and they're going to get hungry. Now, you could put more manure in and add more microbes and a little bit of energy, but manure is spent fuel. The cow jumped over the moon, the pig went to the disco. I mean, by the time you've eaten your food and processed it, there isn't a lot there. So these guys get hungry, so feed them food scraps, the food you can't eat, all that moldy bread and, and the fats and grease that after cooking and I mean, anything organic can go in here. And they'll eat that, and as they eat it, they're going to flatulate and the gas is going to rise and it's going to produce a pressure because they're constantly kicking out the gas. So we open the valve and we can fill a balloon with the biomethane that's wonderful for cooking with or running electric generators or cook stoves or, or, or lamps. And then as the water level rises, there'll be a point where the water level is high enough that we'll get passively a liquid fertilizer, a liquid compost that has been processed and is now rich in nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium, all those things you need to grow new food again. If you just filled these with toilet waste every day. It would faithfully produce gas, it would faithfully produce fertilizer, but the energy content would be very low. And if you have a big digester, and I've seen them all around the world, hooked up to a bunch of toilets or to a cow shed, then you can run your operation on that amount of gas because you have that amount of poop. In the city, we don't have the luxury of space. So while we'll put our toilet waste in all the time, so it solves the disease burden aspect of it, because this will kill 98 to 99% of possible pathogens that would be in it. When we put food waste in, the microbes are really happy because they've been sitting in poop, which has already been processed by the animal so that it could do the things that animals do. So you put the food waste in, the microbes wake up and they say, well, now I'm eating. And then boy, do they produce gas. It just starts bubbling. <laughs> And the fertilizer that comes out is richer in nutrients because the animal isn't taking them out. This is now the animal. When we eat food and then poop, a lot of the nutrients are now in our bodies. So food waste is the best source of energy and nutritional content, but for eliminating the disease burden, putting poop in is always a reliable fallback.